I'm going to dance with this So I believe it's going to sell out of my heart. I know it's going to sell out. I want people to be standing outside wishing they had got an early ticket. And you know how African American people can be. We wait till the first and the fifteenth. We don't buy nothing in the town. We wait to say the last quarter and then we come back and say, ah, I should, I should. So don't do that. And those people who have seen the show before, tell me, come back and come back. I'm sorry, you didn't thank you. Can we call it a day on the call of the Thank you. Thank you. What is it? 
answers? Yes. Okay, what's your name? What's your name? Samaya Muhammad. Samama? Samaya. Samaya. Okay. And what's your name? Tyra. 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 All right. And these are uh, some of the dancers in the in the musical. And um, tell them what you're going to be doing. What's your What's the song you're going to be dancing to? A tisket, a tasket. A tisket, a tasket. All right. All right, ladies. Have a good rehearsal. Hi, we have some more of the performers here for Bronzeville the Musical. So, uh, say hi, know? everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Chicago. What's your happened? name? Rome Anthony. Uh, Rome Anthony, what are you going to be doing in the musical? Dancing, singing, and telling the story about the migration from the South back to Bronzeville. Okay. Where beautiful black people still exist. All right, that's true, that's true. Okay, what's your name? My name's Eric Blaney, and um, I play the porter worker, and um, my name is Arthur Patterson. Basically, um, just about the whole way white people treated black people and how they were killed on spot for no reason. Wow. And um, to embody that and to tell that story is such a privilege. Such a privilege, and I hope you Sounds all love like it. Today. Oh, 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 it's definitely a show you want to see. And thank you guys for coming out and interviewing us, spending this wonderful day with us. And um, peace. All right. Have a good rehearsal, guys. Can't wait to see the show. Uh, for the Bronzeville musical and we're going to find out a little bit about her and what she what part she plays in the musical um, I'm Eunice Sanders I am the assistant wardrobe coordinator here for the Bronzeville the musical a historic event that I'm proud to work on Thank you. 
And here we have Bryant McLemore Smith of McLemore's Closet, who has the task of wardrobing and fitting all of the cast of Bronzeville the Musical. And we're going to allow him to tell us what he's doing right now. Actually, hello everybody. Uh, thank you for the introduction, Teresa. Right now, I am going scene by scene. This is uh, stuff from the last show. It needs to be laundered. Um, so I have to go through and separate each scene from uh, Africa. We start in Africa. We go to the slave trade. We go to uh, freedom. We go to the emancipation. We go to the Renaissance period. So we've got a bunch of different areas that we pass through. So as you see, the daunting task of Getting wardrobe together is an ongoing process. It's always ongoing. Stuff gets lost, stuff gets found. That's my whole job. So I cast the whole scene um, according to the script that she gave me. It's an amazing story. You guys don't miss it. You don't want to be back here with us too long, though. Thank you, Teresa. From the man to the night to the I'm sorry, we had sound difficulties here. Um, we are with Millie Cruzant, Cruzant, and she's part of the musical, um, Bronzeville the Musical, and she's going to tell us what she does in the musical. Oh, well, I'm, um, I do a little uh, solo with a uh, number called, uh, what's it? Uh, Willow Whip, what's that? Weeping Willow. Weeping Willow. Weeping Willow. Right. That's the number I performed with. Uh, and uh, it takes a lot of energy and stamina and everything because I'm 89 years old. Oh my God, for real? Yes, I am. You did not. Beautiful. <laughs> did you see what 89 looks like? Oh my goodness. Yes. Oh, I'm wow. 89. Oh no. And so I have to come double prepared for what I'm doing. Oh my uh, I'm, I'm sorry you guys, I lost my <laughs> professionalism because I was shocked with the number that she just gave us. I 89 <laughs> years old and she is doing it big here at the Bronzeville Musical in rehearsal. I can't wait to see this show. I have been very blessed. Yes. Uh, oh my God. <laughs> oh my Because goodness. I've enjoyed what I've done for the past 50 years. I joined a dance company when I was 47, Joseph Holmes Dance Theater, when I was 47, and I danced till I was 55. And so, with that training, I learned Grant Martha Graham, I learned Graham technique, uh, and I learned um, many techniques, of course, ballet, of course. So all those things, I uh, thought, gee, I work so hard, I don't want to lose it. So, I work too hard because they kicked my butt. 
And now, I found it was worthwhile keep, uh, maintaining it. And so I do fitness. I teach um, fitness. I teach dancing. My life has been extremely full. It seems to get fuller and fuller as I live. And now they were very nice to include me in this show. So I'm going to take advantage of it and enjoy it. And it's been a beautiful, this has been a beautiful venture for me. It's, uh, I, I use everything to make myself stronger and better. And you can get stronger and better. The age does not mean anything. If you don't do anything with your age, you don't do anything. So, uh, I try to, to um, enjoy this atmosphere and this environment. And it's very important about, people don't know the environment that they're in, what it brings to their life. If people are sitting, that's what you do. You sit. I'm not in that environment. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> oh wow. 89 you guys. I'm Okay, no no no. I don't know why. You have another car You got to have.
as big as a whale. Hidey, 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 in courses had a million dollars worth of nickels and dimes she sat around and counted them all a million times the writer, director, producer of the Bronzeville, the musical, and she's going to tell us a little bit about herself. Thank you so much. We appreciate Chicago Live Media for joining us at our rehearsal. And we're so excited about this project. We were so blessed and fortunate to sell out the Chicago Theater. We made a historical statement. We are at we were at the DuSable Museum. We're now at the Logan Center in Hyde Park. And after this show, we're going to Broadway next year. So we encourage everyone to purchase your tickets to support us, support black theater, support the movement. We're telling our story. And we're honored. So thank you. Thank you, Margaret. And we look forward to the show. We have two dates. Tell them what day is the show at. August 20th, Saturday, 7.30, and August 21st, Sunday, 3.30 p.m. We have a wonderful orchestra led by Mr. Tim Walker. We have wonderful designer Bryant McLemore costume, and we have another wonderful designer, Dre Alexander, a costume designer of the Regal Theater scene. We have community acts. Family, Tell them where they friends, so you can get your tickets at the Reba and David Logan Center at the University of Chicago. Let me give you a flyer. May I, may yes, I yes. please? Okay. Reba David Logan Center for the Arts, 915 East 60th Street, Chicago, Illinois, 60637. And you can get your tickets there. Thank you. All right, you guys, you don't want to miss it. You don't want to miss it. Thank you. Thank you, Margaret. Hi, and we're here with one of the costume designers for the show, and I'm going to let him introduce himself. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Woo! 
Hey. Hello everyone, my name is Quentin D. Alexander. I'm originally from New Orleans and I'm very happy to be a part of Chicago Bronzeville. Uh, I do the Regal Theater theme uh, scene, which has Lena Horne, Billy Holiday, Ella Fitzgerald, and Sarah Vaughn. This is my third time with the production and I'm very happy to be a part of this wonderful production. I can't wait for it to get to New York to hit Broadway because I know it's going to be a big hit. All right, thank you. Thank you. All right, we're looking forward to it. All right. We dance, we dream. We are here with Rachel from Bronzeville, the musical Chicago. And Rachel, what do you do? I'm one of the choreographers for the production. Uh, we've been on the project since August. Uh, we've been in the first two shows, and this is our third show now coming up in August. Okay. Yep. So um, what are the um, dances or the songs you're going to be choreographing to? Um, there's about 22 pieces that myself and Matt Williams wow. choreographed. Um, so it's a pretty big production. It goes from you know jazz to ballet to lyrical to a little bit of hip hop, but it's all around that 20s theme. So it's a big project. We did, you know, we worked really well together. Oh well, I yeah. can't wait to see that. Yeah, it's awesome. We got an amazing cast of dancers, actors been stepping up, so it's been good. So if they want to try to find you and and uh, you get some more work doing choreography, where yeah, can you they can find me you? at my company's RSV Productions. I'm on Facebook at RSV Productions uh, as well as my email is Rachel at rsvizproduction.com. That's R A C. H E L at R S V I Z production dot com. Okay. Yeah. All right. Rachel, thank you. What's Thanks your last name? Rachel, Rachel Walker. Rachel Walker. So look for Rachel Walker. She's on Facebook, right? Yes, I am. All right. I'm okay. There. So go check her out. See Everybody. you guys there. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Can I have some? She kisses me. She kisses me. And now her brother Riley, he's rushing out all flustered, saying that I found him his sister. He's saying that he and his brother are going to burn me alive. No, 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 no. No, 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 Riley, you have it wrong. I didn't kiss your sister, sir. She kissed me, sir. Oh, oh. And then Sarah, she runs up and spits in my face, calling me alive. Oh, now while he's inching towards me, but before he can get to me, I fling a run. Oh, and I'm breathing all hard, mom. Yeah. Right in this brother don't come after me tonight. Bro, oh, my nose better than the mess of some white guy in Georgia. Look, I don't even walk near no one walking on the same side of the street. Look, God knows I walk in the opposite direction. Mom, I gotta leave. I gotta go to Chicago with the other Germans. Yeah, I don't know nobody, but look! Mom! The lynch mom! He comes for me, Mom, and I am just too young to die! Oh, I love you, Mom. Uncle George? I'll get my twenty dollars from passing here before my train fit.
We're here with the music director, and your name is? I'm Jim Palmore, and I'm not the music director. Oh, see. I'm one of the vocal assistants. Oh, okay. Tim Walker is our musical director. He's on his way. Okay. Well, you know, he looked like the director. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I just gave him that title. Oh, so, you yeah. know, look out for him now. You know. Okay, tell us what's going on with you. Well, I've been working with Bronzeville since the beginning as the assistant vocal coach. Uh, Lana Manson was our original coach, and we have somebody who's working with us now. That's been one wonderful experience. And those of you who missed it in the Chicago Theater, you missed history. You missed it at um, the Gustavo Museum, but you got redeemed. Now that we're doing it at the University of Chicago, the Logan Center, come out. we got two nights. Two nights. So come out Saturday evening at 7 30 and Sunday afternoon at 3 30. You do not want to miss this history. Now, you should do something for them, the uh, production teams out there. Tell them where they can find you if you're on Facebook. I'm a Jim Palmore. Um, I really don't use Facebook a lot. Um, but my name is James A. Palmore. You can find me on Facebook that way. And then, um, that's the best way to reach me. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. one of the performers of Bronzeville the Musical Chicago and what is your name? My name is Jillian. First of all, Jillian Shogun Way. Okay, what do you do Jillian? Let us um, know. I'm a dancer in the Chicago Bronzeville Musical and it was a great opportunity to be a part of this production. It was truly inspiring, especially for what we have going on today. So, I feel like this is a way for the youth to express how they feel about what's going on in today's society. Yeah, giving them a little bit of history. History and yeah. still, it shows, showcases the that the youth, what we exactly, yes. shows the history and how the youth understands the history and wants to showcase that we struggle and we're still struggling. Yes. If a person wanted to become a dancer in this, how do they do it? Well, to become a dancer in this production, we come and audition. Usually, they accept you, and we just work with you, and depending on your level, depends on different dances. We're still a professional production, but we also want to incorporate, you know, people that want to be a part of the production. Okay, where can they find you on Facebook? Um, Chicago, Bronzeville Music, Musical, I'm sorry. And you can also find Margaret Madi, she can add you to the Facebook page. 
we have the Facebook as well as Twitter, Chicago Bronzeville. So basically every social media account. Okay. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. And now we're here with Arthur Muhammad. Brother Arthur Muhammad. Stage manager. Stage manager. Okay, how long have you been with the production? Ooh, well, since his inception, we've been working on it for about, we've been working on it, uh, man, I forget, it's been, a, it's been like forever. <laughs> but it's been like maybe a year and a half, two years. Okay, or so, so uh, what, what is what, what can they find? Uh, can they find you on Facebook if someone needs a stage manager? If someone needs, well, basically I'm working with the marketing theater company okay. as stage manager. Okay. And so I've been concentrating on that. Okay. So within this production, you know, I wrote a few songs. Okay. And I enjoy working with this company and it'd be hard to try to okay. branch out. I tried that and it, it's, it was too much. Okay. So, so I enjoy doing what I'm doing. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, um, what does your job entail? What are, the, what are the, some of the uh, tasks you have to do with? Well, the stage manager, basically, um, just say once the director gives the direction, the stage manager's job is to make sure everybody's doing what they're supposed to do. And, um, and you work with each, sec each segment, whether it be dancers or actors or uh, the singers, you know, you, you so, have to do with right, and you're making sure everyone's in place. And then the night of the show, the night of the show, I I call the show. Okay. Oh, okay. So you call the show. Right. Okay. And then there's another stage manager to work backstage with, the, with everyone, making sure everybody come out on time. Okay. So let everybody know they shouldn't miss this. this well, this event. production, I say, you know, I I see about 15 plays a year. Wow. And this production is one of the best. It's a lot going on in this production. It's called Bronzeville, but a lot of times when, when it's dealing with our community, people think that we can't produce great plays. And when they, when everybody that comes to see Bronzeville, most people enjoy it. And so they, I, I always hear a pos positive feedback on this, on this particular production because it's moving, it's singing, it's dancing, it's acting, you have fun, it's, it's uh, spiritual a little bit, uh, it's, it's uh, humorous, it's, uh, it make you feel good, some, some points it bring you down, but this is the overall, it covers just about every aspect of emotions. And so I really enjoy it. Well, I thank you mm -hmm. for your interview okay. and I look forward to the show. Okay, thank All right, you. okay. <laughs> Okay, we're still here at Bronzeville, the musical rehearsal, and they're about to do Lift Every Voice.
the legendary Leon Finney, and we would like to hear a few words from him about Bronzeville the musical and the part that he's playing in the production. Well, thank you very much, and it's thank wonderful you. to be here for, at this outstanding rehearsal. Obviously, I was there for the first production at the Chicago Theater, and it was then and still remains an outstanding production by us, for us, and for the world. I'm here because I'm interested in making sure that this particular production is successful, not only in terms of how well it's written and produced, uh, and, but I want to make sure that we do all we can to ensure the attendance. So my organization and my people, we're going to make sure that of the tickets that yet have to be sold, we're going to make sure that we sell at least 100 of the tickets. I encourage all of my friends and all of our friends to go and put the shoulder to the wheel and make sure that we fill up the auditorium. Thank you so much and may God bless. Thank you very much. Extra, extra. Okay, everyone, we're still here with you from Chicago Media Live at the Bronzeville Musical Chicago. And, and we're here for the last scene rehearsal of Extra Extra. publication of the Chicago Defender gave resourceful news to the black reader about job listings, better living conditions, and reliable education of North. There are too many widespread lynchings, beatings, and killings that are wiping out our black race in the South. <laughs> Fortunately, my weekly newspaper readership grew rapidly in the late 1920s. There are 250,000 copies being sent out each year. And I use railroad workers to leave copies all over the South. Extra, extra, read all about it. Extra, 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 extra,